It's gonna be longer than a minute. Trust me. Oh. Hi there. Gabe's your brother, right? I'm Ethan. Charlotte's my mom. Hi, Ethan. I'm Alex. What you reading? Ninth Warden. Oh, has she found the Scepter of Serenity yet? <sighs> She's looking for the Scepter, but I think she'll need the Bangle of Vanishing to get to it. I wanted to turn invisible so bad when I was a kid. Still do sometimes, to be honest. You can get away with anything if you're invisible. And no one can stop you. If you like comics, I can show you the one I'm making. I'd love to see it. You can keep it if you want. I made a bunch of copies to sell in the record store. This is awesome, Ethan. I can't wait to read it. Are you going camping? You know the mines? I know they exist. There are a bunch of old tunnels all around the mountains. I think I found a way into one. I mean, I'm not an expert on old mines, but that would scare the crap out of me. I just like to explore sometimes. It's no big deal. Oh man, I shouldn't have told you that. I know we just met, but be careful out there, okay? You don't need to worry, really. I think I'll check out that record store. Nice meeting you, Ethan. This place reminds me of the shop Gabe and I used to go to. <laughs> He'd save up for weeks from his shitty car wash job just to buy us something to listen to. It's crazy. Here I am, years later, still waiting for my big brother in the record store. Except this time, I'm buying the record. No way. Unicorn or Zombie Parade? Let's see. Let's go with Zombie Parade. Citizens of Haven Springs, that was the Wednesday with Bomb Squad. Up next, a very special request from some chick. Sorry, the store's actually closed right now. Which is confusing because it's obviously open. Wait, are you Alex? That's me. Wow. Gabe's been talking about you coming since... 
forever. I'm Ryan. Hi, Ryan. Nice to meet you. So, all the way from Portland, huh? What do you think of Haven? Let's see. How about still deciding? Considering I've been here for like a minute, I'd say I'm undecided. Fair enough. I guess undecided is better than running away screaming. So the store is closed, but they opened it just for you? You must be picking up something pretty important. Yeah, well, you could say that. An outdoorsman's guide to the calls of common birds. Wow, that's... I'm gonna say different. Not what I was expecting at all. It's a pretty obscure record. <laughs> the National Park Service gave it five stars. <laughs> so, you're a... Colorado State Park Ranger. It's all coming into focus. Well, bummer the store's closed. I was thinking of getting a gift for Gabe, but I'll figure something else out. I don't even know if he still listens to records. He does. Charlotte just got him a record player for his birthday. I'm pretty sure he put something on hold. So you don't work here? Steph won't mind. Be the easiest sale she's ever made. If I could just find the whole list. Hmm. Damn. I know I saw it before. Wanna help me look? Oh, yeah. Any ideas on where to start? No idea. Steph leaves stuff all over the place. Okay. Let's go over here. Hello, kitty. Wait. Is that the hold list? Let's move the cat. Don't freak out. I'm just gonna... Okay, just kidding. I'm surprised you got out of there with both your hands. Thing is, she's sitting on the hold list. We could use her toy to lure her away, if we can find it. Give me a hand. Okay. This place has just the right amount of dorkiness. Any luck finding that cat toy? Not yet. So, what's the prediction? What do you think Gabe listens to these days? I'm gonna go with B. I think Gabe's gotten so emo that he doesn't like instruments anymore. Just dudes screaming and crying into the microphone. Dear God, let's hope not. <laughs> well, there's only one way to find out. Let's see if we can find that cat toy. Let's see. Maybe drawer? that drawer? It could be Celine Dion's greatest hits. You mean the essential Celine Dion? She is a Canadian treasure. Mm, nothing. Maybe in the junk box. And we have a winner. Good guess. <laughs> Be safe out there. If I die a horrible cat-related death, tell Gabe I'm <coughs> sorry. Oh, excuse me, guys. I'm gonna listen for a few minutes. Then we're gonna go, then we'll play with the cat and get the list. It's like one of the choices, basically.
So, this is Haven Springs. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, take these off and uh, put our headsets back on. Superior mammal now. All right. <laughs> Good idea. Thanks. For a guy who lives in the woods, I'm pretty good at this customer service thing. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. Okay. Should have known. Seriously? Gabe and I used to listen to records together all the time. We'd forget about the world and rock out for hours. You gotta tell me what Gabe was like as a kid. Any ammunition you can give me? Let's see. Let's go with, uh, let's go with the door. <laughs> he acted cool, but he was really a big dork. Like, one time, he was pretending to stage dive and fell off the bed, sprained an ankle. It was funny. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you being here is a game changer in the Gabe embarrassing department. All right, you're looking at 20 even. No, no way. I can't believe you're doing this no. again. Come on. Do you have any idea how much time I've put into this? You just... No, dude. I can't come over there. I'm working. <sighs> it's called a job. Maybe you'd understand if you ever had... I can watch the booth if... You gotta get out of here. Hey, hold, hold on a sec. Are you serious? Well, you have a playlist, right? I think I can handle that. You're a lifesaver. Oh, no bird calls, though. I'll be there. One sec. <sighs> Organizing a LARP shouldn't be this hard. Are you okay? I'm gonna say better now. Sorry. I was just a little thrown for a moment. Thanks. You got it. <laughs> 